Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about how to add the footer section on the React WooCommerce site. Uh, before we jump onto that, we just need to add the functionality of the menu drop down. As you can see, currently our menu does not open. So we just need to add some functionality to make sure that the, when the user clicks on it, then it should open. So for that, what we're going to do is we'll head over to our header and inside of the header what we're going to do is we'll say const and then is menu visible set menu visibility and then we're going to use the use state okay initially we'll set the false i'll we'll set this to false so depending on if users click we want to toggle between the classes so that at least we have the menu uh, open and close we also need to import the use state from React. So let's do that. Import use state from React. And the next thing we do is, okay, next thing we do is we scroll down and over here where we have button, what we can do is we can add an on click function that when the user clicks on that, then the menu visibility will be set here. And over here where we have the container for the menu, I'm just going to replace this. I will say if is menu visible is set to true, then make sure the max height is full. Otherwise the max height is zero and then the rest of the classes. Okay. So now if you go back, if I click on it, there you go. Uh, of course, this is not aligned left. So let's ensure we align that to the left. So I've added the classes flex to these. And then I want to also ensure that these are in the same line. Okay, so I've added a bunch of classes like flex, flex row, item center, and in the large, when the screen grows large, then it's flex column. And then I've added some margin for the mobile and then remove the margin when the screen size is large for all of these icons. And now if you go back and check, I think this looks much better. And then this is looking fine, brilliant. Uh, now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the footer. So, so if you go back to our footer component, here is our footer. And because if you go to pages, we are passing the footer over here. We can pull footer on top from the props. So let's pull it. Footer. And then I'm going to pull. Let's see what's available in the footer. Footer. So let's see what we get in the footer. So we have footer menu items. We have copyright text, sidebar one, sidebar two, and social links. So let's pull all of these up. Let's say I need copyright text, footer menu items, sidebar one, sidebar two, and the social links. Okay. So we're going to say const, and we're going to pull all of this separated by a comma equals and we have that from in the footer so we'll say footer here and then in case if it's not available then should pull it from an empty object so we don't get an error there we go so we've got all the footer data available we just need to display that onto the front end so what we're going to do is we'll come over here and the first thing we'll do is we'll add some of the classes to the footer so let's say class name, some background, okay. And then let's add another div here. I'm gonna get rid of all of this for now. Let's put a container and inside of this container, let's put the widget one, I'll put the widget one. And inside of the widget one, we have this here sidebar one so let's see how that looks for now we have to import sanitize on top so let's import it import sanitize from utils miscellaneous let's use background blue 600 see how that looks yep much better okay so we're using black bg blue 500 which is basically this color uh, over here you can choose the color of your choice so now we have the widgets being displayed which is great let's go next we also want to display the next widget 
which will be widget 2. So let's do that. Widget 2 and I'm going to ensure I pull the sidebar 2. Let's put that here. There you go. Let's go to the front end. So currently, as you know, that we don't have anything in the sidebar too. So it's empty. But when you put, put anything inside of it, then it's going to show over here. So currently, this is empty. All right.